All right, hi everybody. So it's still fairly cold. I don't know how long I'm gonna last out here, but I'm again, I'm bored out of my mind, so I'm gonna try and work on these wipers a little bit. I've uh, drawn this all in uh, Corel Draw, all the dimensions, and uh, figured out what my, uh, how much I have to change the ratio. So I'm just gonna pull this apart and uh, do the one here, and then uh, if my calculations are correct, then I'll, then I'll do the same thing on the other one. But um, I'm going to do the one here for, for, uh, to start with. I have to move the, uh, the pivot point three-eighths of an inch, uh, shorten it, three-eighths of an inch. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so there's where I had to take it apart to, to take the motor off the backing plate, take the one arm out. These little E clips and circlip holding it all together. Came apart a little, little, uh, little stubborn because it's probably been together since it was new. But good thing I uh, took it apart because this nut or this bolt here, the clamp bolt for that shaft was loose, and that. Uh, was you know it's splined on there and it wouldn't be in too long for it just strip the spline because it was uh, wasn't tight so I tightened that up and uh, now I'm gonna pull that pin out and move it up this way to shorten that radius three eighths of an inch and uh, give that a try I'm not sure whether that's just pressed in there in that hole or if it's staked in. I'm going to try and just knock it out with a hammer and punch and see how that works and if that doesn't work that might be uh, staked over and I might have to just grind that off knock it out and then um, and then just tack weld it back in there again. I'm not sure yet but we'll find out in a few minutes. Alright so got it uh, Drilled and pressed in there, and I just realized it's on the wrong side. I gotta knock it out, put it on, put it in from this side. Dumbass. So my calculations are correct. Three eighths of, of an inch was the magic number. about the maximum stroke because it comes just about down to the to the window to the bottom of the window anyways so good I'll go up inside in a second here and you can see where it moved up there and uh, looks like it's starting to walk out of the hole so I'll have to shut it off here pretty quick Pull it back out and weld that up. I'll weld up the other hole too while I'm at it. And uh, should be good. And I'll just do the other side. Okay, and there's the driver's side one done. Nice sweep. Couldn't be any, <laughs> couldn't really be any longer. That three eighths of an inch was uh, exactly the right number. And once I'd done the the one, this second one only took me about an hour and a half to do complete. Shorten the arms and modify the, uh, the linkage because I knew exactly, you know, what all the measurements were. So. Anyways, I appreciate everybody's uh, input and um, ideas and whatnot. All worked out really well. Uh, the only thing I found out is the only one of the switches worked, so I can only use one one at a time at the point at this point. Um, so I, I got to get another switch, but that's uh, that's minor. Anyways. That's it for now. 
Okay, so for all my uh, drawing, I use Corel Draw, um, and what I did for these windshield wipers is I drew up, and this is in full size, not scaled, but there, this here, from there to there is what the the sweep was and then this line here to here is where I wanted it and I drew out the this is the motor circle which is not 1.937 was what the, the uh, diameter of the of the uh, stroke was. The original on the driven side, on the wiper side, was three and three quarter inch circle. And what I so what I did is I took this here, which is supposed to be the windshield wiper, and drew it to, to that point there. So it was here, and where are we at here? So that was the point there of the original, and that's the other one. And let's go back up here and move it. So this, when it's at this point here, and the same on the other side, there's the, the point, the center point there. So all I did is take and figure that out, and then just measure from this point to that point, which is 0.375, 3 eighths of an inch, and. Uh, I knew that was the diameter of, uh, or how much it had to change. So, uh, all worked out really well. Anyways, for anybody that's uh, interested in that, that's, uh, that's how I did it.